okay, this season of Teen Wolf, oh my god, it's the last season. So we want to do things that we've never done before. So uh, let's see, where do we start? We, we've got some crazy villains that do some things that we've never done before. I don't know how much I can go into detail about them, but they're cool because they're to me they're kind of robotic in a sense that they just have like an objective. They're not doing it for a motive, not to gain anything. They're just doing it because they're kind of programmed to do evil. So they're kind of interesting in that way. Um, so that's our new villains. Uh, we deal with the first half of the season. We deal a lot with just like remembering relationships and, and what people actually mean to you. So what's cool about Teen Wolf is that with all the supernatural we do, we always try to incorporate some really good message. And this season, it's all about remembering the ones you love, what they actually mean to you, what they do to you as a person. Um, so. I can't remember the question, but damn. You nailed it. You nailed it. Damn. And with Styles being forgotten away from the show a little bit more this season, how does that affect Scott not having his buddy? What's cool about it is that between Scott and Styles, since the first episode, Scott and Styles were always both dorks and goofy and outcasts and kind of uh, kind of just just goofy in their nature. Um, Styles is so out there and all over the place. That it kind of hides Scott's dorkiness and goofiness. So without Styles, his his um, naivety, 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 naivete, naivete, naivete uh, his uh, his his goofiness comes back out and his silliness. And you really tell that Scott's kind of um, uh, an awkward person, human being, and that brings it out of him again. Um, so that's that's it's an interesting side of Scott that you haven't seen in a while. So that that was a lot of fun to play. And how deadly do things get this season? With it being the last season, you know, are we going to see any happy endings or is everyone? Uh, so far, no. So far, we've got some pretty bad endings, but that's great because it's in Team Wolf fashion, you know. And I'm sure I haven't read the last episode, but I'm sure it's going to be very fulfilling, happy, sad, emotional, funny. I'm sure it's going to have everything. Um, but as of now, there's a lot of turmoil and a lot of death and a lot of darkness and 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 twists and turns and very, um, you know, ending, it feels like it's an en it's ending. And with the last season, are you hoping to see some familiar faces coming back? Absolutely. Like Ian and Tyler. Absolutely. I love those people so much. I see Hecklin as much as I can. Ian I see a lot too. Um, all these people I would love to see come back to the show. I'm, they, they all have my heart. Uh, anybody, any one of them, I would love it. And what was it like directing an episode too? Everyone I've talked wow. to so far has just raved about you. Really? Yeah. Oh man. I, I, it was the greatest. It was it was the first time in a long time where I felt really right on set. I've always been an aware actor. I've always asked questions about lighting, camera shots, lenses, makeup. I, I, I asked questions about everything, and it was just nice to be the leader of the set. You know, I, the best thing about Teen Wolf for me is that I'm number one on the cast, and I'm the leader on the on, on the cast. But I've always wanted to be the leader as a whole. You know, I love I love the show, not just for the actors, but for everything. You know. And so it was really nice to really just be that leader and, and be the guy that everybody looked to and had all the answers. And it was nice to feel stressed, you know. Directing was hard. It was great. I loved it. I loved every, every, every bit about it. It was great. And I know you guys still have a couple months left before filming wraps, but what's it like on set knowing that these are the last few episodes? Is it emotional? Or? Not so much yet. It's not emotional yet. What's, what's great about Teen Wolf is that we are the most professional. We just work and work and work and work and work. And so when we got back to this season, it was kind of like we picked up right where we left off. So nobody is really feeling that, that mindset yet where it's ending. Probably the last couple of days, last couple of weeks will be really sad and emotional. But for now, just coasting, kind of on autopilot. We're kind of numbing everything down. Yeah. And last question, have you thought about what you're going to take away from the set when filming rap? Like physically? Yeah. Like what are you calling dibs on? I really want to take uh, Scott's motorcycles away because we've got a, we've got a couple of those. I want to uh, take something of the lacrosse, and that's all I thought about really.